What's going on? In this video, we're gonna be getting a ton of mods done. Well, really just two mods done to the Corvette. I'm gonna show you kind of what we got, a little sneak peek, and then we're gonna head over to the shop. So first thing we got, brand new exhaust from Paragon Performance. These are the tips that we went with. Gloss carbon with the blue tint. I think it's gonna look really good. What's crazy is how, like online, these look tiny, but these are stock, and these are the new ones. So, pretty good size. Um, I think it's definitely gonna look a lot bigger. That's the first thing we got, is the touring exhaust from Paragon. And the next thing we got is we're replacing that wing right there. I'll have to show you what it looks like in person, but that's what we got so far. We're gonna load up the TRX, head over to the shop, and get this thing started. And now, one last cold start. Okay. Aw. Oh, this wing looks way nicer. Oh, what? Woo, look at the exhaust! That's so cool. Ooh, this wing looks way nicer. All right, so we're back. The exhaust and the new wing have both been installed. I'll throw up some pictures and clips of that kind of happening. But everything's installed. I'm gonna do a warm start, which still sounds pretty crazy, but I'll kind of show you guys what we got here. So, new exhaust, looks pretty good. The uh, blackout heat shields are back there, so you can't really see much, which I think looks really, really good. We got the carbon, gloss carbon tips with the blue. Looks pretty sweet. And then for the wing, fully carbon fiber. Much better. The, the installer said that it's way more secure than the previous one. Looks way better. No bolts in the side of it. Fully carbon. We'll get better shots of all this when it's kind of out in the light a little bit more and we got the old wing <laughs> so i'll show some comparisons i took other videos earlier of like me comparing them side by side but for now let's let's get a start up and take it out for a spin but as you approach the higher red line it just starts it just starts going crazy, so take a listen. Hopefully you guys can hear it okay. <laughs> it feels like a totally different car. <laughs> I'm like just gobsmacked. I have nothing else to say. Go buy this exhaust. Uh, video's done. Goodbye. Okay, I'm kidding. It's just wild. Like. I've, so I've watched a lot of videos, as I'm sure a lot of people roll this up. I watched a lot of videos um, on like which exhaust to get. Should I get this one? Um, should I get, there was an AWE exhaust that I was thinking of getting. There were a lot of different exhausts that I was thinking of getting. And this one, like not once in any video that I saw did anyone talk about it like crackling like that. So it just, like I don't know why, but I just don't expect it. It does sound a lot higher pitched. Um, apparently people in other videos said, oh, it sounds like a Z06 at lower RPM because it's a Z06 flat plane crank. Maybe, I, I don't know, um, I have to drive it for a little bit more, but it definitely sounds higher pitched. There's tons of just crackling, popping, bangs, like as you work your way closer to Redline, which is just like crazy. And it's, it's a lot crisper. It's, and it's so hard for all this to come across through video. I know you guys should be able to hear like the crackling, the popping, because I, I can hear it on video when I listen back to it. Um, but the set, that's the toughest part about buying an exhaust is the video does never do it justice, um, as you guys can tell. So, here we go again. So we found a good spot to park. Obviously you guys just heard some of what that sounded like from the inside of the car. Now I'm gonna show you what it sounds like from the outside of the car. Um, but all in all, let me just show you guys too. 
Okay, so I also want to show you guys like everything that's now on the outside of the car um, because we did get a new wing installed and now that it's kind of out, it's not super sunny, um, but it's sunnier than sitting inside the garage. I want to show you guys what that looks like. So previously I had had this Z07 style wing. <laughs> okay, so previously I had the Z07 style wing from Sagala Designs. I'm not gonna just trash anyone. I think their wing was pretty solid. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was actually more than this one. This is one from Paragon Performance again, so huge shout out to them. They helped out with the install, getting me like early access to the video so we could install it correctly. This one is, I would say, true replica of the Z06. Uh, it's carbon fiber, as you guys can see, exposed. So you can see what it looks like. It's actually hard to tell on camera, unless you're at like certain angles, like right there. But all in all, it looks way better. It is, it stands a little higher in a way, but because it's longer, it, it's a lot wider. Like you can see right there, like look at that. It just like matches what the Z06 looks like because of how wide it is. Like you can see standing here from the car, I'm like head on from the car right here. You can see the wing. The old one you could not see. The old wing you'd be standing in front of it and you couldn't see the wing. Now you can and you can see how wide it comes out. It matches the width of the car. It actually makes the car look wider um, because the previous one, these fins probably ended like in line with these ones right here. Maybe even in more. I'd have to look, maybe I'll throw up a comparison, but look, all that to say, looks a lot better. It's wider up here as well. Like you could definitely, this is a dinner plate, so you could definitely eat on it. It's wider, eat off of it, which is very nice. Um, great quality carbon fiber. It is also a lot more sturdy. So these wings use a bracket that mount inside the bumper. And the first one that we installed, it was questionable. This wing uses a bracket that installs to like inside behind the bumper and the first one that we did it was questionable how it was actually mounted it was it was okay but it wasn't the best um, by any means and this one it's a metal bracket fully installed it's like 10 times more secure the person that installed it actually said that like yeah this one feels way better um it it just feels better i'm feel a lot more confident about having the wing um, and actually using it which is great so all in all, um, I'm very happy with the wing, and I'm very happy with how it turned out and how it looks. I think it looks way better. Carbon fiber looks great. That means I'm gonna have to get more carbon fiber bits on the outside, potentially. But I don't think it looks bad with some of the carbon flash and whatnot. And then obviously, the exhaust looks amazing. We got the blackout um, heat shields. So if you see, you can't really see which is the point. It's just an exhaust. There's no like black, I'm sorry, there's no like tin foil behind there. Um, what it looked like before is there was like tin foil, didn't look too great. Now I got the blackout heat shields, so it looks really clean. And then we also saved weight. I think, um, don't quote me exactly, but we probably saved 40 to 50 pounds, maybe even more. And you can see, I'll, I'll definitely put up a before and after, but you can see all the exhaust pipes here. Where you can see the Paragon logo right there um, and you can see all the pipes you can see the exhaust which I think looks so cool um, previous one you couldn't it was all black it was like just muffler and it was heavy and it was big this exhaust is light and I think it's awesome so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in the car I'll start it up so you guys can hear what it starts it sounds like outside warm startup and then I'll give it some revs take it on another drive and then we'll be good to go all right, so the Corvette is finally modded out, fully good to go. A uh, little bit of a story time. Pretty much the previous people that put on the headers didn't take out the spark plugs when they were putting the headers on. And these spark plugs are very finicky. So even if a header like taps a spark plug, it'll crack it. So a day or two ago when I was filming, I was actually filming with a uh, cylinder eight misfiring. So <laughs> engine was misfiring or one of the cylinders were misfiring because of that cracked spark plug on cylinder eight. Um, and that's also what was causing like that really cool sound 
maybe it wasn't cool, but that sound when I was approaching red line and all the crackling and popping is because that cylinder was misfiring. So all that to say, everything is fully fixed now. Everything is good to go. Been driving it now for a while. Drove it quite a bit yesterday when I picked it back up. Everything is awesome. Everything still sounds great. Functions awesome. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. It's it's a really nice sound. I love how the Paragon exhaust sounds. I love how it looks as well. I think the tips look way better than stock. The wing looks amazing. Carbon fiber. Nice smooth end plates, which is awesome. And what I really like about the Paragon exhaust is you can see all the pipes. Let's see if I can get it there. So I think that looks awesome. Looks so cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything there. I'm going to get a couple clips of me revving it now with uh, no engine misfire <laughs> to see what that sounds like. And then we can, we can wrap it up and go from there. <laughs>